Dave Palumbo here for Muscle Serpents Daily, and we're outside. I got my, my video guy here, Tyler, so he's gonna do some cool video. And this snake is a snake that I absolutely love. I produced this from a double het leopard blood to a double het leopard blood boa a couple years ago. This male is, is one of my favorites. This is what I believe to be, it's definitely a blood. It's 66% het leopard. And I th it also, I believe, is a visual, what we're calling a Gilbert T positive. That's Chris Gilbert, um, bred, you know, produced these double het leopard bloods. And we, he found out by accident, and I discovered it too in my collection when I bred them, that there's a T positive hidden there. Now, we don't know if it's an existing T positive line. We're calling it the Gilbert T positive line. I believe that this, this, um, that this boy is a blood T positive. If not, he, at the very least, he's, he's um, um, He's a uh, het T positive. And that's what's again, the caramel albino. Uh, unfortunately, if you hear in the background, you can hear a horse, you know, neighing and making a lot of noise. It, one of my neighbor's horses fell down and, and injured itself. It's probably not gonna make it. So I don't know what's going on. I know the vet's over there right now. So that's why there's a lot of noises going on. Anyway, this male, I bred back to his mother this, uh, this past season or last year in 2020. And I wanted to try to see if we can produce some visual uh, leopard blood T positives. We produced a couple really interesting. We didn't produce anything leopard, so I'm wondering if he is leopard or not, or het leopard or not. He's, there's still not no confirmation on that. But I'll tell you one thing, we got some amazing babies, and we're going to check those out in a minute. Um, once again, just look at that color on this guy. Look at that belly. He looks het leopard to me. He's got some, some serious het leopard markings. Uh, I just think we just missed on the odds. Because remember, we were breeding het leopard to, to the mother that was het leopard. So, you know, we only had a 1 in 25 chance of hitting it. I would have thought I would have hit it on one of the babies, but I didn't. So I'm still not convinced whether he's het leopard or not. But he looks so het leopard to me that it's amazing. But he's a really high contrast, gorgeous, gorgeous looking blood. And that's because I think he is uh, visual T positive as well. All right. I have two snakes here. This is uh, one of the babies from that litter. This is a blood that is 66% het T Gilbert T positive, I believe. It's also a possible het leopard. Um, it does have bow tie saddle, so that's a possibility. It's also very light, so I'm almost thinking that it might be visual T positive. It's hard to tell. It, it's, it's got a very, but it, it looks very bloodish to me. But it could be T positive as well. It's probably it's 66 percent head. I got a little bite from him before. Um, really nice. Now here, if you look in contrast, I brought this other snake out here too. This is another litter mate, and this is a Gilbert T positive. This is this is no blood in here. There's no leopard in here. This is just pure T positive. You can see how creamy colored this is. This is caramel albino, um, and I'm going to put him down here in the, in the grass. Let's see if we can get down here so we can get them in, in, in nature. You can see how well they blend in. Um, especially the blood. Now, so this would be blood, 66% het Gilbert T positive, possible het leopard. This is absolutely visual Gilbert T positive. Um, 100, it's definitely 100% het blood. You can see all this, this saddle craziness. And the question is, is it het leopard too? I don't know. Um, doesn't look it to me, but it has this, you see this two-toned on its sides? That usually can mean het leopard. So there's hope. Once again, two gorgeous, gorgeous snakes. This one's a little frisky, <laughs> I'll tell you that much. I love this Gilbert T positive. It's a really, really nice caramel albino. Um, I've produced a female in that first litter I produced, and that's how I knew that it was in there, and I held her back. She'll be hopefully breeding uh, maybe next season, but really two nice snakes. Now, I'm gonna get some other ones from this litter to, to show you what, where we can go from here, so. All right, now here is a blood that's absolutely um, also a visual caramel albino or T positive or Gilbert T positive as we're calling it. You can see how light this one is compared to this other blood here. Look at the three distinctions between these three snakes. Blood had T positive, excuse me, blood T positive. This is a blood, what I think to be head T positive, and then this is a visual T positive. So you can see how dark the blood is here. Look how light this blood is here. And then this one is obviously just pure T positive with no blood in it. 
100% have blood. Ouch. <laughs> and, and these guys are frisky. These little, these little dwarf boas are definitely, they will go after you. Although, um, they're defensive when they're younger. I find when they get older, they really, really calm down a lot. Um, once again, they've never been taken outside. But you can see, look at the different color shade differences. And once again, they're all possible het leopards. So that, we have to take that into account. Um, there's, I see bow tie saddles here, I see bow tie saddles here, so that could have a lot of influence over the coloration. But I think I got these two right. This is blood T positive, blood, okay, and then visual T positive, and if, obviously it's 66% het blood and possible het leopard. <laughs> these guys are getting me good. I'm going to have a couple little marks on my fingers. Now, I have one more I want to show you from this letter. Now, I have a couple double hats and triple hats, too, that you, if you guys are interested, you can let me know. I'm going to put them up on Morph Market within the next week or two. This is a great project. Blood, Alba, uh, excuse me, blood leopards are just super hot right now. And obviously, the blood leopard T-positive combination, that triple uh, homozygous animal, will be amazing. But I want to show you one really, really cool looking blood. Now, this guy who's a little heated up as well. This is just a blood, which I believe to be 66% het T positive and possible het leopard. This guy is so red though. He's not super light red like you would see from, that's why I don't think there's any T positive in there, but he, he's just a spectacular, spectacular looking blood. And I wanted to show you his belly so you really see it. As long, he's gonna definitely take a chunk out of me, but look at that belly. Look how red that is. You would, you would swear that there was some kind of something else in there. This looks like my, uh, almost like a, once again, a blood T positive that I would produce like a bow woman caramel. I don't think it is though, it's just not light. The Gilbert T positive is a very light colored one. And, but I just, that's one of the nicest bloods that I've produced, I gotta tell you. Now they could be, this could be het leopard in here. And because of the het leopard, you know, that could be why we're seeing all those, you know, intense oranges in there. Because obviously het leopard is visual, we know that. Uh, this guy is loving the, crawling in the trees, you know, when, when, does, when does a boa really get to climb? And now you can see these things are definitely arboreal, they love the trees. I wish I could have some a naturalistic setup for every single one of these guys, it would be a absolutely awesome. Once again, these babies will become available, they were small babies, they're, they're really eating really well. Uh, their colors are really coming in really nice. I'm going to list them hopefully on the Morph Market. Before I list them, if you guys want to contact me, you know, to get one of these snakes, you certainly absolutely can reach out to me ahead of time. That's how I sell most of the snakes. A lot of them never make it to Morph Market. But, and you know, there's, there's been a tremendous, uh, I guess, popularity of the, the leopard, oh, look, he bit himself, of the leopard uh, blood boa. Look at my hands, they're all the chewed up. Uh, Bob's over at Bob's Boa has produced a really nice visual leopard blood. Um, and, I, and I love the way it looks. I'm kind of a little envious that I didn't produce it, but hopefully this year we'll hit it. We have another chance to hit it uh, with, with, hopefully with maybe that Gilbert T positive in there as well. So once again, this is just a gorgeous looking blood. Look at the pattern on the dorsal aspect of this guy. And then if you take a look at the belly, it's just super, super red. You don't see that. That's a, that's a spectacular looking red in a, in a blood boa. So once again, great day here. Hopefully you guys are having a good week. We're coming to the end of the year. Hopefully you guys have made your New Year's resolutions. Uh, hopefully you got your Christmas money and maybe you'll buy some snakes. Doesn't have to be for me, but you know what? That, I know I'm spending my Christmas money on more snakes myself. And uh, these snakes will be going up. I like to always hold my boas back about six months before I list them to make sure they're eating well, they're growing well. And I don't give away something that I, I don't even know about because a lot of times with boas as they grow, they start showing more pattern, more, more color that you haven't seen. This guy got, certainly got way, way nicer as he got um, a little older. And I think that he's going to turn out to be a spectacular, spectacular breeder at some point in the future. All right, if you want to get involved in the blood, T-positive, leopard project, hit me up. You guys know what to do. Hit that subscribe button, turn on your notifications, hit the like button, and we'll see you back tomorrow morning.